A big weekend in high school football on the biggest possible stage in Indiana sports. Let's head to the home of the Colts. Lucas Oil Stadium Snyder travels down from Fort Wayne to face Decatur Central in the 5A state championship. With locked arms, the Panthers step onto the field supported by a loud Snyder crowd. Decatur Central opens up the scoring with a first quarter field goal, but early in the second, on the first play of the Snyder series, Uriah Buchanan breaks through the crowd and there's nobody left to stop him. The Snyder running back gone, an 80-yard touchdown, lightning play gives the Panthers the lead. And yeah, those Snyder fans feel pretty good. Later in the quarter, Hawks threatening, but this third and short play stonewalled by the Snyder defense. Leads to a 41-yard field goal try for Ashton Vogel, and he drills it. We go to the half with Snyder leading 7-6. Panthers get a Meng Tung field goal early in the third to make it 10-6. Third and goal from the one here. And D.C. will keep Lucas Rohrbacher out of the end zone. Ball comes out, but the refs say the play was already dead. Snyder settles for a chase one of our chip shot field goal to make it 13-6. Fourth quarter now, Hawks facing third and six near midfield. Bo Polston with a quick toss out to Chris Mitch Richmond. And he's immediately dropped on a great tackle from Jamari and Kolig body. D.C. has to punt. Snyder starting its next drive from its own five. Give up the middle to Buchanan, sheds a tackle, and no way, right? This kid's going to do it again. 80 yards wasn't enough this time. He's taking the delivery 95 yards straight to the house. Another unbelievable moment on the biggest stage for Buchanan. The senior rushes for 235 yards and two touchdowns in his final high school game. And for good measure, later in the fourth, Kieran Billingsley on the read option, and the quarterback slices right through the middle for a 16-yard score. Billingsley would add one more passing touchdown to Buchanan in the final minutes and ring the bell for Snyder. The Panthers claim the 5A state championship with a 33-6 win. It's amazing. You know, I finally be you know, labeled as one of the teams I brought it home in 2023, so it's good. They love me. I love them. You know, I couldn't do it without them, their support and things like that, so it's great. We just stay together. We don't argue with each other. We stay cool, pick each other up. But then second half, we knew we got to keep it on the whole game. It's just not going to stop during one half. Just keep it on the whole game. And we came out, we punched them in the mouth. We were very disappointed going into halftime. And uh, to our kids and coaches' credit, man, they brushed it off and played better in the second half.